Guys, thanks for watching Keep Calm and Game On. In this episode, we are playing more Guild Wars 2. If you are new to this game, then uh, join the club because I am also very new to this game. That's why I am live streaming and making these videos. is so I can get kind of tips, feedback, suggestions, um, best ways to go about things from the viewers like yourself. So if you got any tips for new players, drop them in the comment section. And that way, if you are also a new player, you can go down there, read some suggestions, get some cool tips, stuff like that. But we're just kind of learning as we go. Um, so if you want to kind of learn along with me, uh, feel free to stick around. And uh, if you find this video helpful or at least entertaining, give it a thumbs up because it does help me out. So we're going to go toward the next uh, story mission, which is the Order of Tyra. I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of these names right. Okay, that's pro I probably butchered it, but I think it's Tyra. Ty Tyre? Terra? Terra? It might be Terra. It might be Terra. But we're heading in that direction. We're going to kill some people along the way. This is my character. I look pretty, pretty amazing, if I do say so myself. I am a... What am I? I am a level... I don't even know how I look at my character. How do I look at my character? Would it, would it be uh, inventory? No, no, it's got to be... It's... What is it? See, guys, this is why I need your help. I think it's inventory. No, that's not it. Crap. It's been like three days since I played this and I already forget how to play. Is it... Uh, oh, it's Hero. There we go. Okay. So here's my character. I am a level 33 warrior currently. Effective level 10. I don't know what that means. I guess that means level 10 enemies are spawning as I go around. I don't know. I got no idea. I got, I got a sword equipped. And I have a bow equipped as well. And that's kind of, uh, that's kind of all I know. But if you are watching this live over on Twitch, uh, like I said, drop some comments, give me some tips. I will respond as soon as I see your message. And if you're watching this over on my YouTube channel, post those comments and I'll respond when I get a chance. That's what I do on my lunch breaks at work. I respond to YouTube comments because that's how I roll. But I think uh, we're going in the right direction. This is a big sword, man. That is a big sword. I'm going to actually equip my bow. Actually, no, it's not a bow. It's a gun. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. It's a rifle. Okay. Oh, that's a bear. You know what? Do it. Do it. Do it. Smoked him. I think I just got this rifle, which is... Uh, I don't know if there's a fast way to see, like... Your your stats is the H button. I think, I think it's the H button. How do I like see what I'm carrying? Is it equipment? Okay, so I guess I have a Lion Guard rifle equipped, and then I have a strong iron greatsword of hobbling equipped as well. We got another bear. Oh, look at that bear. Who's gonna win? We're gonna watch this real quick. I think the bear's gonna win. Like, there's no way that little deer. Is taking out this bear. Place your bets, everybody. Place your bets. Come on, Bambi. You got this. You got this, Bambi. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Come on. Man, it's pretty neck and neck right now. Oh, man. Is, is this deer actually going to kill this bear? Are they both going to kill themselves? Oh, 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 look at that, bro. Uh, hey, come back. Oh, it's on now. Sorry, buddy, but uh, I can't. I, I, you killed Bambi. And you didn't even eat it. You just left it. Hunting for sport, guys. No, 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 no. You gotta eat the meat, okay? You can't just waste it. Okay, uh, what am I saying here? I think we gotta go through. I think I could go around, but we're gonna we're gonna go this way. We're gonna walk through this this castle. Because I think that's where we got. We gotta go. Where is it? Where are we going? We gotta go over there. Guess I don't have to walk through the castle, but we're walking through the castle. Okay. Nice little trebuchet over there. Fallen soldier. Come here, man. Resurrect. By the gods, bring this hero back to life. Oh, God. It worked. Okay. Let's keep going. I'll give you a Kit Kat, bro. But uh, I ain't got no Kit Kat, so I'm sorry. You're going to have to just deal with being revived without any candy. It's a hard knock life. What can I say? Okay, so let's uh, go through here. Now, if you are watching, uh, let me know what your favorite class and I guess weapon combination is. I'm liking like the ranged weapon 
and then and then the you know melee weapon i find that that's been the best combo for me but maybe it's different with other classes this is the only class i've played as so i'm not really sure also what are these things doing guild wars end of dragon path of fire i think these are just dlcs that i can buy are they on sale right now or something uh no, 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 not now I might eventually buy the full game for like 30 bucks or however much it is to unlock the DLC. But for now, I feel like there's plenty of content with just the free, you know, base game. Because I, I feel like if I if I start buying DLCs and stuff, it's just going to add all this new content and, and like items and all this stuff. And I'm, I don't even know what I'm doing currently with the base game. So I don't want to overwhelm myself because I'm already overwhelmed as it is. I am not like... I don't really play a lot of MMOs. I played a little bit of Guild Wars 1, like way back in the day when it came out, and I just, I, I sucked at that too. Um, but I haven't really played any MMOs since then. I played a little bit of Elder Scrolls Online. A little bit. Download region? I don't want to download the region. Uh, do I have to download the region? Is that something I gotta do? Okay, fine. We'll download the region. I guess it's, I guess it's downloading. I guess it's it's doing its thing. I do like the voice acting. The enemy designs are pretty cool. And uh, just the animation. Because you know how when you go to a cutscene and they're like talking to each other? It feels it feels real. It feels natural. I don't know if they use like motion capture. Or if they just kind of did it with the, you know, by animating it. But it feels good. It like feels, feels like these people are actually having a conversation, which is nice. But I, I guess it's downloading. Okay, there it is. There's a little download bar. That's nice. That's very nice. But yeah, I don't have a lot of experience with MMOs. So I said to myself, I was like, self, we're going to make a Let's Play series. And we're just going to learn how to play this game. We're going to like document our experience from pretty much day one, more or less. I think I started making these videos when I was at level 10. Um, but I'm just going to start making these, documenting my experience. And that way, like pro players that have been playing this for years, you know, the veterans, maybe they'll get a kick out of seeing like a new player jump in. And for those of uh, you who are brand new to the game like me, maybe you can like learn along with me because I ask a lot of questions because I forget things pretty easy. So like, you know, I ask questions, people respond in the chat when they're watching and it's just a, it's just a fun all around experience. And I guess people are liking it because for some reason on my YouTube channel, these are like my most viewed videos currently, which I, I don't know why. Like I, I didn't think that would happen because this is like a 12 year old game. And I didn't think people would be watching content for a 12-year-old MMO. Well, 12 plus. I think it's at least 10 years old, as far as I can remember. I think it's 10 years old. Um, so I wasn't really expecting a lot of people to watch, but apparently people are getting a kick out of these videos because they're that they're like my views just keep going up. So if you're one of those people, thank you for that. Thank you for sharing the video, liking it, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I also like the fact that on the little mini map. You can't see it because my face is in the way, but uh, there's like little arrows that kind of point you in the direction you're supposed to be going. At least when you're like in a in a big area like this with a lot of buildings. So I like that because I, I get lost really easy. So I kind of like the fact that it's pointing me in, uh, in the right direction. I'm just going to click on this real quick so I can get rid of it because it's like distracting me. You can't even see what I clicked on. It was like the little thing popping up in the right corner above the map that says buy this DLC or whatever. It was distracting because it was like jumping around. Huh. I also like that you can just walk by like NPCs and sometimes they'll be like having conversations which, with each other, which is kind of cool. And I'll just kind of stand there sometimes and listen to what they're saying. Um, I think I'm supposed to go through here. Okay, and then we're going to follow this. It's a nice big open space here. What is this place even called? Does this place have a name? The Upper City. Okay, the upper city. So this is like, this is like a city that's up. I get, I, I don't know. That's just, the, that's the name of it. I also figured out that like when you're exploring, like the places you discover, they, that gives you experience, which is nice. Because you get a lot of experience for like discovering uh, new places and like uncovering the map. So I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, I guess, yes, enter the instance and uh, we will... Proceed onward. We will proceed. Let us let us go forth on our journey. Okay, what does this person got to say? That's a nice couch. 
a little pointy, but okay. Okay, here we go. Let's pay attention, everybody. Your Majesty, Captain Thackeray. I was summoned. Indeed. I'm glad you're here, my friend. Cries a lot of armor. Once more. You know I'll do anything I can to help. What's the problem, Captain? There's a swamp in southern Krita called Lichcroft Mere. The area's been hit hard by our Lichcroft. war with Most of the lumber there goes to build catapults and defenses, so it's common practice to use strips of marsh moss instead of firewood on cold nights. Okay, okay, I'm with you. However, I'm with you. The Seraph have brought me recent reports that risen undead, servants of war, oh, no. have been seen in the swamp. Risen? Risen undead? We gotta fight some undead, bro? If in the swamp, okay. anyone who goes in there would be in great danger. But hello, Seriously, girl. You got a nice dress. The are pushing to be involved, but can't agree on a plan. While they bicker, my people are at risk. Hero, I have summoned you to act as advocate of the crown. I'm a hero. I want I'll be summoned, lady. You can summon me anytime. Situation. You'll be dealing with the Vigil, the Derman Priory, and the Order of Whispers. All three specialize in the fighting. The Order of, of Whispers. However, they all use different methods. That would be a cool be football to team. Decide which plan is best. And then act on it. The Order of Whispers. You will have the full authority of the Crown to handle this situation. Will you accept this? The task, full hero? authority of the Crown. Your Majesty, I will. Yeah, bro. I'm honored to serve Crida and my Queen. So she's a Queen. Go and meet with the Order representatives as soon as she, possible. It, no, wait. is I she the Queen or friend. is she just like a representative for the Queen? I was, I really wasn't paying attention, but I think she's the Queen. Like, I could be wrong, but like that's like a pretty nice throne. Hey girl, what you got going on? How do you do? How do you how do you do? What 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 influence convinces the queen? Um I don't Okay. The text I need to I need to make the text bigger. There's probably a way in the options like to increase the text size, like the font size. I don't know how to do that yet. Um let's just Yeah, yeah, let's 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 do that. I think that does the same thing. But so, like, the text is too small. So, I kind of, like, skip reading it a lot of times. I just need to, like, increase increase the, the font size. I think you can do that. Um, okay, so, we, we did that. And now we have to go out of the city. I know I can just, like, teleport. Does that cost me money? I don't think it costs me money. Yo, uh... GLX... I B T, how's it going, man? And Dexter is also so Dexter, you can't, you can't uh, increase the font size. Base game story is garbage anyway. Expansion gets better and it's more voiceover. I do like the voice acting. <clears throat> like I'm pretty impressed by the voice acting so far. Um, I haven't really got too far into the story. And were you were, were you a f referring to like the texts, like the font size? Is there like a way to increase that? I don't think I can go through there. What is that thing anyway? Is that like a PvP type arena match thingy-majiggy? Something like that. Okay, and I think th I think I can like teleport for free when I'm in a city or something. I think. Yeah. So let's 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 teleport to this. Yes. Let's just teleport onward. Dexter says uh, font size can't be increased. Well. That's something they need to work on. If they haven't done it in 10 plus years, they probably won't do it. Maybe there's a... Can you, like, add mods to this game? Probably not. Because it's an MMO and that would be cheating. I don't know. Is a portal other cities okay locked yet? I don't know. I'm not too far into the story. Um, we're going to go through here. Yeah, Dexter, 1991. Was that the year you were born? Because I was also born in 1991. September 23rd, 1991 to be exact. So that would make you, what, 31? Very nice. I think that was also the year Sonic came out on the Sega Genesis. Fun fact, I work at a thrift store and I just priced the Sega Genesis. Priced it for 55 bucks. Came with two controllers. I may have underpriced it. I looked on eBay. That's kind of what they were going for. Though I should have looked at like the sold listings instead of just what people were pricing. I don't know. Maybe I underpriced it. But yeah, 55 bucks. I think it works. I didn't really test it out, but you know. Someone spotted my age, yes. Uh, there are mods, but not in the scale of ESO or World of Warcraft. Girl Wars 2 don't support mods. Okay. All right. 
makes sense. Well, I th they need to like increase the font size. I'm just saying. I tried playing this on my laptop the other day, and man, it's e it's an even smaller screen. <laughs> and I was like, yo, what's going on? What's going on? Okay. But I think uh, we got to go this way. But yeah, man, if you're new, I think you're new. Haven't seen you around here before, but hopefully you'll hit the follow button. And I upload all of these streams over my YouTube channel as well as make standalone Let's Plays as well. I do vlogs and unboxings and reviews and I play indie games nobody knows about and all that good stuff. So definitely check out the YouTube channel because that's where the magic happens. I think we're getting close to 5,000 subscribers over there. Possibly. But yeah, the link to that is on the main profile page or you can just go to YouTube and type in Keep Common Game On and you will find me over there. But I think uh, we're going to go this way. We're going to go this way. And uh, GLX was also here. I don't know if he's a first. I don't know if he's. I don't. I don't know if he's still here. He posted a frog. I think he says hello. I think that's a frog. I can't even read the the text on the. Oh boy. Okay. Let's go, bro. Boom. And I know there's hotkeys to like use with the keyboard, but I'm I'm really bad at hotkeys, so I just been like clicking. Oh boy. I just been like clicking on the icons. Because that seems to be like the easiest for me. It would be nice to buy like some like another bag. Bags I have don't carry a lot. Bag slot per character. I need an expansion to unlock that. Well poopity doopity. Okay. Let's keep going. That sword is like how do you even swing that thing, man? That that is that is taller than me. Like I feel like in real life. That sword would probably be at least 60 pounds. At least. Okay, maybe, maybe not 60. Maybe 20. It's probably a 20 pound sword. I mean, I'm thinking that's what it would be. Ooh, what's going on here? Oh, I think I did this one before. This little mission. Wait, we're not supposed to be going that way. We're supposed to be going... Where are we supposed to be going? We're supposed to be going down here. Um, so, what are these guys doing? They're, they're cowering because uh, there's people trying to bust open their water supply or something like that. I think I did that mission already. Do you get experience for doing the same mission over and over again? Because I, I think I've done the the water pipe um, mission that I have to, like, prevent the bandits from blowing them up. I think I've done that twice, but I wasn't paying attention. So, I don't know if you can, like, replay the missions. And it like gives you more experience, maybe less experience the second time. I don't know. I don't know, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just uh, kill some bandits real quick, and I'm gonna equip my little, my little, uh, my little uh, bullet shooter, also known as a gun, also known as a rifle. Come on, bro, let's go. There we go. Smack him. Boom. Oop, missed. Okay. Hey, hey, bro, 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 bro. Pop the cap in your butt. Okay. Grab that loot. Ooh, hello. Pew, pew, pew. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. If, you, if you're tuning in late, guys, uh, we watched a grizzly bear fight a deer. I'm not going to tell you who won. You're going to have to go back and watch this video later. But uh, it was an interesting... F it was a close battle, okay? It was a very close battle. And I like the fact that NPCs will kind of, like, fight each other. I like that. That's pretty cool. We got this golden moa. Is that how you pronounce him? Are you related to Jason Momoa? We're going to name this one Jason. How you doing, Jason? Momoa. Moa. Jason Moa. Um, clicking works for most of the game, but when it gets heated, clicking skill is a serious disadvantage because um, mouse is mostly needed to be uh, to move the camera and stuff. Yeah, that's true. It has gotten pretty hecked. Ooh. Bandits! Are Bandits! Okay, we're going we're gonna to do this. We're going to take a little side mission. And uh, we're going to protect this farm. I think I've done this one before. And again, like, do you still get experience from missions you've already done? Because I feel like they wouldn't pop up if you didn't get experience, right? Like, I feel like you still get experience. Missed him. Uh, okay, and I guess they completed it already. Well, fine. You don't need my help. Fine. I won't help you. I have better things to do anyway. Okay, let's uh, let's go this way. 
What do you mean by missions? Like, like you know how on the mini map? Well, you can't see the mini map because my face is in the way. But on the mini map, there was like a little golden circle, and it's like protect the help protect the farm from the bandits. And then if you do it, and if you last like five minutes or whatever, you get like experience. Like are those just like random events? Because I've done a couple of those events, like the same event, like multiple times. I don't know if it like gives you experience the second time you do it. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, you can only do a golden heart once in the base game. Okay. So maybe I didn't get experience. Or maybe I got experience from like killing the enemies, but I didn't get like experience from completing the event. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Orange events pop up endless. It was kind of like a... Yeah, I don't think it was a heart event. I think it was just... Ooh, look, see. Group event. Defeat the wanted bandit leader. Okay, where's that at? It's over here. Let's go defeat the leader. Oh, man. This is going to be intense. I feel like this is going to be real intense, bro. Oh, God. Okay, let's do it. Don't get crazy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's... Oh, boy. What the... You got to... Oh, he's got ranged weapons, man. Okay, 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 oh, oh, okay, let's summon some doggies. Help me out. Oh boy, oh, go, get out of there. Okay, 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 okay. Blow, blow, blow him up. Blow him, blow him, do his, do his thing, do his thing. Uh, let's use our little healing button. Did I kill him? Nope, man, I, he ain't even close. Okay, you know what? Going so, let's go on sword swinging. I missed, I totally missed. Oh boy, it's getting a little chaotic here. Okay, let's go. Oh boy. I'm dodging. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm dodging. Let me see here. Yeah, I get what you're saying by like it. Uh, it, it's a little hard to move the camera and then click on the uh, icons. I see. I see what you're saying. Oh boy. I see what you're saying. Oh no no no! Oh, I was not paying attention. Okay, hit him with the rock. We're gonna die. We're gonna we're gonna die. Help! Help! Oh, and we did. Okay, anybody anybody around? Nope, I guess not. The champion is Zerl of the Venomous. What a name, bro. What a name. Well, there's nobody around that can heal me. So, um, orange events pop up endless. Them you can do over and over. Yeah, maybe it was an orange event. Because this is orange, right? I'm kind of colorblind, but I think this is orange. Hey, yeah, come here. Heal me, bro. Heal me, bro. Kazoo Krita. Is that an actual person? How do you know if it's an actual player? Can you heal me? Bro, help me. Help me, bro. Help me, I'm just lying here. I'm laying. She's she's got her hands full. Okay, let's go to the, the waypoint then. Uh where's the net where's the closest waypoint? I gotta teleport way over here. Oh, that's where I need to go. Uh can I teleport there? Nope. Teleport there? Nope. Uh I guess we go here. Yes. 27 bucks. Jesus. <sighs> I'm a cheapskate. I don't like spending money. I do not like spending the moolahs. But like I said, guys, definitely hit the follow button if you're having fun. Check out the YouTube channel because uh, it's where the magic happens. I've been playing a new game over there called... Uh, um, what is it called? Good question. Ah. Uh, what is, I, I can't even remember. It's an indie game made by one person. I actually know the guy who made it. Um, I forget the name. I got two episodes in so far. It's not a super long game. I think it's only seven bucks on Steam. But yeah, it was made by one person. I know the guy. And I totally forgot the name. Sorry, buddy. I totally forgot the name. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I play like a lot of early access indie games. AAA titles as well. Sometimes older games that came out a year ago, a couple years ago. Because I wait for games to go on sale. I don't spend 60 bucks on a new game. I just don't. I don't do it. That's kind of why I like indie games, honestly, is because uh, they're a lot cheaper. And oftentimes, they're just more unique and fun, in my opinion, than like AAA games. Because like, if you're a AAA developer, developer it's like you, you got to stick to the same formula. You know, it's like you gotta be a first-person shooter. You gotta be like Call of Duty. You gotta like, and it's like they. I feel like they just do the same thing over and over again. Whereas if you're an indie game, you kind of can like do different ideas, and there's more like you just have a little bit more freedom to think outside the box. So 
I like playing indie games. Also a big fan of uh, roguelikes because I just like randomly and procedurally generated stuff because it just it gives you a lot of replayability. And not every roguelike is procedurally generated, but I do like ones where every time you like enter a dungeon, it kind of like re you know randomizes the the floor plan or the the weapon drops and stuff. So I'm a big fan of uh, of games like that because it's like you pay for the game, but it changes every time you play. So it's like you know, you get a lot of replayability. A lot of bang for your buck. And that's what I like. That's kind of how I got into this game. I was like, yo, this game's free. I'm going to check it out. Also, my friend, she recommended I play it. I played a couple times with her. She's she's way better at this game than I am. She's like maxed out on every character. And uh, she's got a lot of different uh, like mounts and, and skins and all that good stuff. She's talking about crap. I don't even know what she's talking about half the time because I'm I'm still new to the game. Okay, I gotta get up there because I want to like uh, get that little experience boost thing by looking at that. So how do I how do I get up? We got some mechanics, some jumping mechanics. Can I get up there? Come on, come on. You got this. You got this. You got this. Come on, come on. Oh god. How do I? How do? How do I? Come on. There we go. A little bit of Mario platform in there. Speaking of Mario, so I said this pre a little earlier, a little a little while ago, I said I worked at a thrift store, which is correct. I do work at a thrift store. But somebody donated like a knockoff, uh, like Super NES, like not the original Super NES, but like, um, you know, the one that you just plug into an HDMI port and it has like 200 games built in or whatever. It was like a knockoff made in China. So it had like a lot of the same games, but just like, you know, stupid ROMs from you know, I'm pretty sure it's illegal, actually. But I think you can get them for, like, 20 bucks on Amazon or something, which is, like, 500 games built in. And they were really crappy games. Like, they had a couple Mario games and, like, Tetris. But, like, they had Super Mario 6. And, like, it wasn't even a Mario game. Like, Mario... Like, I think it was, like, an Animaniacs game. And they just, like, switched out the main sprite with the Mario sprite. So it was, like, Mario was in the game, but, like, every other character wasn't... It was, it was just weird. And it had two remotes. You could play two-player, but the remotes were so low quality. Like, the controllers were just... Like, you had to really hit that directional button for it to even move. Like, it's the cheapest thing I've ever seen. But I, I put it in our break room, and I was, like, playing my coworker. We played some Tetris. And, man, yeah. I know, like, the actual, like, Super Nintendo made by Nintendo is pretty decent because my brother has one. Um, but th this knockoff was just, man, you could tell they cut corners. Like, yeah, you can tell it was a piece of junk, but it's still in my break room. And, uh, I'm going to try to hook it up and, and play again on my, on my breaks, my lunch breaks. What is going on over here? Like, what the heck is going on here? Die. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. I did not. Oh, bro. What, what the freak? What is the, what's this cow? Why is that cow? Like, is that an evil cow? Was that, am I supposed to kill these cows? Why was that cow so, why was that cow had like a, like a boss thing on it? I am very confused. Harpy Hunter, come back here. There we go. Maybe, maybe this guy, like, brainwashed the cow, put a spell on it to make it evil. Is that a thing? I don't know if that's the thing. But, uh, let's, let's try to do this mission. It's got a little shield on it. So I don't know if I can like uh, get experience from it. Time to do some real damage. This lady's limping. Boom boom. I'm gonna take that money. Thank you very much. And I'm just gonna blow your head off, girl. Bandit scout. You got me. Oh yeah, I did get you. I also like the death, like the death uh, screams and stuff. Like sometimes an NPC, you'll kill him. You'll kill, like, a bandit, and, like, they will just scream bloody murder. And it, like, cracks me up every time. So I gotta protect these people. Okay, I got this. There's a gate right here, people, but, uh, if you want to take the long way around, that's fine. These bandits don't know how to open a gate. Should've went to school instead of robbing liquor stores, okay? Robbing gas stations. You should've went to school, got an education, then you would've known that you can open this gate. Just saying. It's it's a thing. 
But I'm not complaining because it just gives me uh, more time to blow your face off. Anyway. Um, oh, let's grab, what is that? A cow pie? Pick up a cow pie. What can I do with the cow pie? Can I throw it at like, uh, can I throw it at somebody? Can I throw it at this chicken? I think I missed. <laughs> oh crap. No, no, no. Why, why is it doing this? Why do these cows want to kill me? I mean, I did shoot it. Um, but I, I, I feel like these cows, I feel like I'm not supposed to be killing these cows. I'm getting experience from it though. I don't know. I I, I don't feel good about do this. this. I don't feel good about it, but I did it and I got experience. So, uh, okay. Ooh, what did I get? Chest of a hero. Can I open that chest? I think I may need to get a uh, special key. A small crafting bag. I don't know what that does. Uh, I think I can craft something with it. Um, this guy. What happens if I click on this? Ooh. And I got, uh, ooh. Ooh, that does more. That has better defense, but the one I have now does lower defense, but it has, like, uh, some buffs on it. Like, 10% condition damage, vitality. Ooh, experience. Amount of experience. Uh, yeah, let's click on the experience one. Let's get some experience. Bank access express. Double click to consume. Double click to ex access your account bank from anywhere. I'm assuming that's something good. Let's deposit all that stuff. Ravaging one. Okay, what am I doing? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just messing around. Ooh, what is that? Shattered lockpicks. Do you actually use lockpicks to open things in this game? I haven't came across too many chests, man. That cow. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave that cow alone. I'm gonna leave the cow alone because I don't want to uh, make any more angry people. I don't want Peter coming after me saying you killed a cow and you didn't, you didn't even eat the meat. You could have donated it to uh, to Mickey D's, to Burger King, to Macca's, and you didn't. So we're gonna sue your bum off, mate. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. Okay, let's, uh, I guess we're gonna walk through here. <laughs> hey, bro, what the freak, man? Kid's practicing to be a joker. Jesus. That scared me. If there's anybody still watching, drop those comments. And again, if you're watching this over on my YouTube channel after it's... Because I, I, I upload these to my YouTube after I'm finished broadcasting on Twitch. And I might stream this live on my YouTube at some point, but I've been kind of experimenting with the Twitch thing. So if you're watching this on Twitch... Check out the YouTube, drop some comments, because I can respond over on YouTube. And I don't think comments stick around on Twitch. I don't even think videos stick around on Twitch, unless you have, like, a special account. They just, the videos, like, delete themselves after three days or something. I don't know. But, uh, ooh, what's, ooh, what is going on here? Stop the crit burglar before it escapes with the treasure. Oh, crap. Let's go, boy. Let's do it. Let's get this, this little smuggler. You little piece of crap, bro. You little crappy crap dee doo dee doo. I don't even know what I'm saying, but I'm saying it. Okay, let's go. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. What the? What the? Free? Where did he go? He just jumped. Did I do it? I think I might have did it. And I think uh, some mushrooms. Can't grab those. Okay, well, I don't think I'm going to go in there because uh, I'm going to die. Let me kill this guy real quick. But I think I stopped him. I'm pretty sure I stopped him. But what was I saying? Oh yeah, if you're watching on Twitch, check out the YouTube channel. And if you're watching on YouTube, check out the Twitch channel. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Kim Johnson, that doesn't even sound like a fantasy name. Johansson. Kim jo Johansson. Okay, maybe it does sound like a, like a fantasy name. Okay, can we sell some stuff here? Hey, kid, you want to sell me some stuff? Greetings. Okay, I can't sell stuff to you. Um, this guy. Don't point. Pointing's not polite. Let's sell stuff to this lady. What do I... Ooh, we're going to sell some goo. Uh, we're going to sell... Ooh, a strong axe. I don't like selling weapons, man. I really don't. I don't like it. Uh, 
we're gonna sell that though. A strong scale. Ooh, we're gonna keep it. I don't like. Oh, I don't like. I don't like it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sell this one too, right? Yeah. Sell that. Sell the hooves. Um, sell junk. Worn a worn helmet. Sure, we'll sell the worn helmet. A multi dagger. We'll sell it because we can't even use that. Uh, chainmail. Sure, we're gonna sell the chainmail. Okay. What do you got for sale, lady? Anything good? I don't believe so. I don't. But uh, where am I support? Where am I going? I was trying. Man, I just went a big old circle. Oh, we gotta go there. We go. Okay, we're going. We're going in the right direction. We just gotta keep following this road, and we will get where we need to go. Hello, Mister Chicken. Mr. Chicken. It's kind of cool that you can just attack anything in this game. Like, you come across a random chicken or a rabbit, and you can just, like, attack them, which is which is nice. If you're into that kind of thing, it's it's nice, I guess. I mean, I like killing random chickens. Let me get chicken nuggets, bro. But, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. And in the next one, we will go to the Order of Tara. Terra. I think that's how I pronounce it. Terra. And uh, we will do what the queen asked us to do. In the next episode so definitely hit that follow button hit subscribe if you're on youtube click on the bell to get notified when i upload something and again thank you dexter 1991 for the tips and also i forget his name but he popped in and he said hello and he didn't he didn't respond after that so maybe he popped out but for those of you that did pop in thank you for that thumb it up let me know you enjoyed it drop those comments down there and again let me know what your favorite class and weapon i guess uh setup is i guess that's what you would call it but i'm looking pretty fly i think looking pretty g i'm looking real g that is one big sword jesus thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed it until next time my name is adam and remember keep calm and game on toodles <laughs>